So people manage here coming through with the video this time we are going to be making a IKEA bed. Uh, the tools that I'm going to be using in this one are the IKEA fixer toolbox tools. Uh, those are sitting on the right hand side. Uh, the hammer, the drill bits and the screwdriver came along with that. And I'm also going to be using uh, my handy dandy Stanley uh, utility knife uh, to cut the stuff up. Uh, this is the package that came through. IKEA did deliver it so that was fairly easy. Step one, I put it in the area where it has to be putting in or where it has going to be set up. So that's done. I'm going to be moving the uh, mattress which is uh, right there and the metallic central frame uh, away that way I have uh, more room because I know for a fact the mattress is not going to be put on the bed till the time everything is done and the metallic frame, the center beam which is this thing right here is not going to be done till the time the bed is set up. So here we go. All right, using the utility knife, I'm going to be just going through the top. I'm going to be scoring it. I'm not going to be pushing the knife too deep through it. Continuing right along. I'm going to do it till the end. All right, just open the first, uh, first, <laughs> first box and ended up uh, finding the bed support uh, structure thing. And these are the ones that I'm using. Uh, and I'm going to link the description of the item uh, in the description box. Uh, this is basically the center beam support. These are not the traditional white ones. These are the ones that do have the end scaling on it. I think that these are a little bit more rigid and because there is uh, rubber footing uh, in it, it actually makes a lot less noise. So I'm going to be putting this to the side because this is going to be done once the main bed structure has been set up. And just a word of advice, when you're picking up uh, the item, make sure to pick uh, the both boxes. Uh, the pricing of uh, this does include one and two, make sure when you're picking up the item uh, or when you're picking up the container thing, both of them are there uh, and they're only going to be scanning at once so you're not going to get double charge. As you can see, number one has the barcode, number two does not. So if you pick two of these, which is two and two, uh, they will have you go back and the second one, uh, so one and two. And I just ended up opening up the bed, main frame thing, main frame, it's not a main frame, but it's a bed frame. And uh, just drove uh, the knife straight through the side uh, for the utility tool and I'm going to be opening it up to see how the setup is and there we go. Alright, progress. I opened up the box, cut the top part uh, as I was stating before. Uh, this is a bed frame. Uh, I think there's one top and the bottom part. I'm going to continue on uh, removing all these items and again, similar to uh, the mattress support, the bed also comes in one and two boxes. Make sure to pick up both the boxes while you're picking it up. Now, a really quick note, uh, when you're putting the stuff together, uh, make sure the one piece that has the holes uh, is the head frame because that's going to be going to the top. Uh, the bottom part is the other part right here uh, and the top section is going to be right there because those four corresponding holes are going to be the one that are going to be supporting the metal piece and this is going to be in the center right here, the four holes over there. So carrying right along. Alright and uh, just open up the box. Got the headboard uh, placed where I had to. Got the instruction manual, and also on the instruction manual, it does have all the various card that's intimidating. All the various items that needs to be used. Okay, this is more intimidating. Uh, and this, wow, they include the wrench thing in it. Interesting. So, unlike the previous thing where you only got uh, Allen wrench, which is uh, right here, in this case, they're also giving you a screw uh, and a bracket thing. Uh, basically like a wrench so that will be definitely useful I guess all right quick tip uh, this bed assembly thing the brackets the metallic brackets uh, do yourself a favor uh, just cut them and put them onto the side because this will become really annoying if it's connected to the main bag so because you're not going to be using it immediately just cut it and put it to the side all right, step one in the instru uh, instruction process or the assembly process uh, get uh, six of these plastic things uh, which are uh, right here uh, and uh, they are in the bag, uh, separate them, put three on one side, three on the other side and get the metallic screws uh, which are like these that are also included in the bag and make sure uh, to put four on each side because you're going to be using four of these and not these ones, uh, they do have two different kinds one is the one without a head uh, and the other one does have a head uh, and that's the one that we need to use and the tools needed for this first operation are going to be a hammer and the wrench that cam came along uh, with the item. All right, step one, uh, I just take this and put it uh, on the very corner, about a half an inch further away from it because that's where the main uh, load is going to be. 
and make sure to put it on the bottom. How do you know what set is the bottom? All you have to do is look at the base and you will see that uh, this is going to be the top where the holes are. Holes are going to be on the top. Uh, the legging or the area where uh, the pegs have to be pushed in are going to be on the bottom. And here we go. It's hammer time. Just put it as centrally positioned as you can. Tap very gently. And there you go. I'm going to repeat the same process uh, on the other two sides. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the hammering uh, thing and the shenanigans. And uh, I'm going to get this completed right now. And that took no more than two seconds. Step one is done. Those are the first three. And this is towards the headboard. And that's set to go. Now moving on to the step two. For right, step two of the operation, we do need to bolt uh, the metallic anchor bolts which have uh, the top. Uh, this towards the feet of the bed. So one, two, uh, the three main screws. Or the holes is not going to go through. So use your common sense. It's going to go right here and right here. And you don't need to, please do not hammer it in. Uh, this thing comes along with a handy dandy wrench thing. Just tighten it like this. Alright, so I'm going to tighten that up. Alright, uh, the first two screws have been plugged in. And uh, what they're recommending is to screw it in till the end of uh, this point. Till the end of the threads basically. Uh, do not tighten it uh, and don't expect it to go all the way because this is almost the thickness of the wood. So again, tighten it all the way till the edge and make it look uh, flush. And now for the head be uh, headboard uh, and we're going to leave these things open because uh, these screws are not going to be fitting in here. They need to be going over here. The thing that I realized is initially just hand tighten them just slightly. Uh, so they are stationary. Once they are stationary at that point, you can use the wrench. Uh, that they provided and then tighten it. It makes it a lot uh, easier. And just like that, step one is done. Uh, now the next step that I'm working on is going to be opening up the box because in step two, uh, we need to put the side frame and we need to put the pegs in. So I'm going to be opening up the box first. All right, the box is open. The instant thing, the main thing that I notice immediately is the thickness of uh, the sideboard uh, that IKEA has provided. They have literally gone from a one inch thickness that was uh, the standardized uh, issue thing before to two inch thick so this I'm hoping is going to be a lot more sturdy and a lot more uh, stable and major props to IKEA because the thing that I realized is on the previous beds uh, that they had uh, the top portion which is this uh, angle combination piece uh, that you had to do it yourself uh, the packing that they have in this case they integrated the dang thing so this is going to be a lot easier and also in the package, the side support rails, these are the rails that go between or on the left hand side of each frame and I'll show you how to assemble them too. Alright, uh, alright, we're now starting uh, the thing and uh, again, these are the tall pegs, these are not the one we need to use, oddly enough they do fit uh, almost in the image, these are the one we need to use. And similar to the uh, instance before, I separated them, uh, so three in the front, three in the back, so uh, three and three for one side, three and three for the other side. And when, you, and when you're hammering them in, uh, hammer them in as tight as you can because as soon as they get to the end, they're going to stop. And as far as the whole parts, uh, there you go. Uh, two on the top, uh, one in the center. Again, two on top, one in the center. Uh, I picked it up and I put it in uh, to the corresponding side and it went through fairly easily. I'm going to be doing the same thing with this side. So here we go. Wish me luck, people. And align them. Uh, beforehand and considering it's a 200 operation I'm gonna put the camera down and here we go all I have to do is lift it up very carefully because the other end is also there once that happens you just bring it in closely and just push it in here we go there you go once three sides are done the last one is gonna be the easiest thing all right all sides are fairly loosely uh, is a key word uh, they're fairly loosely fitted for all, all four corners. Uh, the center frame is now completely off and moving on to the next step. Alright, next step involves uh, the spin wheels. Uh, the way you need to put them in is the arrow should be facing towards you and they need to just go flush in. So the arrow should line up with the screw right there. As you can see, this is the arrow and this is going to be lining with the screw. 
the concept is it actually gets connected over here and when you tighten it it actually goes along the grooves and tighten it up uh, and to tighten it up you need to use one of the allen key that was provided all right really quick uh, i forgot to key in or put these in uh, i had to just push it out really easily and it was again one-handed operation considering nothing it tightened in and i'm going to be putting it back in uh, and similar to the thing that i was saying before the arrows are going to be facing towards the screw the arrows are going to be facing towards the screw they're going to be lining up with the screw perfectly and push them in as much as you can so there should be a little bit of a lip and once that's done just push the entire assembly through and you should hear them click click and that's that's it there you go that one is set that one is secure uh, i'm going to be straightening it up and then i'm going to be tightening it up uh, you don't want to tighten everything at the same time uh, you have to do it one two three four one two three four uh, from each side that way it actually has a good tight fit all right i'm going to be showing you the entire thing uh, this right now is not connected through completely and i'm going to be pushing it in and as soon as you hear the metallic click that's it there is going to be a little bit of a gap and once you push it in connect the allen wrench and there you go don't got the top one first a little loosely again Got the second one done and you can hear the wood, uh, you know, getting tensed. And there you go. That one's done. And there you go. That one's now lined up. And that's tightening up. Okay. Whew. That's done. Moving on to the other sides. Now for the next operation, uh, the headboard assembly, uh, the bed considering it's done. And I can tell you it's already looking good. Uh, all we need to do is use the five remaining wood pegs and uh, drive them through the top. On the top of the bed, we're going to be driving them one on uh, each side of the center hole. Uh, the center hole is located where the uh, mid board head thing is. The first hole, uh, which is right here. And this one and same goes for this side so we're going to be putting it also over there real quick note uh, on the side of the bed uh, i did notice that uh, left hand side is having three pegs and the right side is only having two uh, and initially i thought it was a mistake uh, then i looked at the diagram that was also provided by ikea and that's exactly how it is so i guess they've ran some tests and that's why we have to do it so I'm going to start uh, hammering them away. And now IKEA want us to, uh, you know, find a table and put the headboard and put the screws in. The screws that we're going to be using are these ones. Uh, they're the double-sided ones. And rather than using the table, what I did was uh, went to the bed uh, and used the bed as a support thing itself. So that's working out for me. And please do note, you need to put this pointy side going into the bed frame pointy side going inside the bed frame all right correction the pointy side going inside the headboard not the bed frame even though the whole thing is a dang bed frame but the pointy side uh, of the screw needs to go inside the headboard all right now the headboard assembly is kind of in now all i need to do is put these washer things uh the way that it has to go through is uh the plastic part needs to be facing my way so the rounding edge is going to be going outwards once that's done the retaining screw is going to go underneath it and it's going to capture this uh, bolt that's coming out and that's going to get tightened so i'm going to get that done quick note when you're putting the headboard through uh, make sure to check uh, the holes because i was trying to hassle with this thing trying to put the shiny side uh, forward but turns out that's not the right way to do it so again these two holes are going to be going through that so save yourself a hassle if you're having a problem pushing this through uh, just check the bottom and you will see that on the left hand side of the headboard there are going to be two extra holes uh, and on the right hand side there's only going to be one all right folks the bed has been put together almost uh, as you can see uh, the headboard is in place it's pretty damn sturdy i did use the hammer with the mallet attachment uh, that I again got from IKEA. I'll leave the uh, box link description uh, in the description below. You can take a look at it. And I'm going to continue on now moving on to the next part 
which is the assembly of the side rail uh, and that thing I will say this there are two heights that you can fit the mattress either one or two uh, I prefer to go with the second option which is the higher one reason being that way you're not sitting on uh, the wood permit thing uh, and it's a little bit higher up and there are holes already pre-drilled by IKEA and all you have to do is screw them in so I'm going to be getting that started right now all right I just unboxed or opened up uh, the metallic thing that IKEA supports and I'm almost done uh, getting this out once that's done I'm going to be putting the screws in or right, to screw this uh, one side in we're going to be needing 16 of these uh, longer screws uh, they don't have any pointy edge to it and they are about an inch long and they're going to be going in uh, to the t holes that are right here and I'm going to be putting it on the top as stated before that way I have a little bit more elevated bed because the bed is kind of uh, low I don't want it to be sagging on the ground and we are done with the one side of the rail. I'm going to be doing the same exact uh, thing on the other side. All right, moving right along. Now we're going to be connecting uh, the central place. If you select it to put the bed on the lower stand, uh, which is on this side, make sure to connect it here, like so. If you opted to put the bed on the higher stand, make sure to connect it to the higher point. Uh, it's exact same difference between the top and the bottom. So I'm going to get this done. And we're just doing the same exact thing on the other side. And similar to the bed frame, if it was selected or connected lower, put it on this one. If it was connected higher, put it on this one. Note the opening part, the retaining clip uh, or the retaining lip, I'm sorry, should be facing upwards because that's where the thing is going to be connected. All right, now for uh, the center support beam structure, which is uh, oddly enough this we're going to be connecting it one over here then this thing goes and connects to the thing right here and the thing you have to be noteful of is while your common sense might say hey i'm going to be putting this on the top no don't do that or i'm going to be putting this on top no this needs to be going underneath it because uh, it is recessed and we're going to be using these really tiny screws to secure this so here we go and really quick uh, this is the reason why you have to do it if you do it too far out it's going to pull both the bed. If you push too far in, it's going to suck the bed in. It has to be just right. So, all right, that has been secure. Uh, now I just need to put one more screw in the first end of it rather than towards the end. Reason being, that's how it's listed on the diagram. And on a queen size bed, the first opening I'm leaving open, I'm going to be connecting it closer to the second one. That way, the bed is going to be matching uh, this kind of a frame rather than it being a little further out. All right, now the second to the last step is just to take this screw and feed it through here. And come on, come on. And then connect it on top. This is fairly easy. All you have to do is thread it through and just uh, tighten it loosely. You don't really need to tighten it too much, although there is a screwdriver thing over there, but you can just hand tighten it. And there you go that one is done all right now that the main part is done i'm going to be putting the main center beam which thing which is this thing right here be extremely careful with sharp edges always hold the lip from the top which is right here and all we have to do is expand it and then put it onto this connecting part right here so here we go all right that thing was like two seconds literally it took me two seconds to uh, push it out and then connect it. Once that's done, I do still need to put in uh, the plastic end caps, which plastic end caps, which are right here. Uh, four of these on each side. So here we go. All right, people. This is the end of uh, the first assembly part. As you can see, everything is ready to go. I'm going to be putting uh, the middle part, which is uh, the mattress support, next. I'm going to be putting that on the next video. As always, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see exactly how the bed turned out. Uh, watch the next video, which is going to have the instructions to assemble the top part of the bed. I'm going to broom this place uh, before I put uh, this mattress on. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions. Uh, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Overall, I will say this. The bed frame, uh, not difficult at all. It's really easy to put. You don't even need any power tools. All you need is a basic tool set 
and you don't need to be a big muscular dude. Uh, if you're a lady uh, or if you're a guy who is not that muscular, absolutely, it's a piece of cake to get this done. All right, people, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.